flag come out of four, the green flag wave. Welcome back. Carl, what are some of the ways that you would break in new brake pads and brake rotors? Well, when you're installing brand new pads and brand new rotors for the first time, there are some simple procedures that you can go through to make sure that you're going to get the best performance and best life out of both parts. Now normally, if I'm going to be breaking in a new set of rotors for the first time, I give them my first attention. You know, we've talked before about how cast iron doesn't like abrupt changes to temperatures. And brand new cast iron fresh out of the mold is even more sensitive. So what we like to do to the rotors is we like to go out, run a series of some slow laps, we'll do some slow stops, then we'll do some medium stops, and then we'll do some harder stops to gradually bring that rotor up to operating temperature. Now, we don't want to go out and just drag our foot on the pedal and let it warm up. We want to maybe run part way down the straightaway, squeeze on the brake pedal a little bit, and then let off. Give that heat that's on the surface of the rotor a chance to absorb in. Continue to do that. Once again, some light stops, a series of medium stops, and a series of harder stops until you get that rotor up to where you feel is maybe two-thirds or three-fourths of normal operating temperature. And then if you have the opportunity, you want to roll out of the throttle, do a few cruising laps, and let that rotor cool back down before you go hard down on the braking. Braking in your brake pads is very similar. Now, if you've already run your rotors in, or maybe you're just putting some new pads in against some old rotors, you want to go out and just like you would with any other race, give a chance to build some heat up in the rotors, do the same basic procedure with your pads. You want to do a series of light stops, do a series of medium stops, and do a series of harder stops. But with your brake pads, once you've got your rotors have been heat cycled once, you can go down pretty hard on your brake pads and get them smoking hot. That gives the pads the final cure to making sure that they're ready to race. So would you uh, do the rotor with your old pads and then switch the pads out at the track and then do the pads after? Or would you do them both at the same time? Yeah, that certainly doesn't hurt. If you have the luxury at that time, if you're going to install a new set of rotors, to go ahead and run them in with an old set of pads. Now, uh, one other thing to be careful of is it's not always good to run different pad compounds on the same rotor. So you want to make sure that the pad compound that you run your rotor with is oftentimes going to be compatible with the pad compound that you're going to use on the new rotor. Now, one other thing that takes place with some pads, especially when you get to the higher friction range pads, the more extreme competition pads, is when the rotor and the pad are running together, they're making heat. But what's happening here, in addition to those parts being heat cycled and the surface is getting somewhat work hardened, you can say, is sometimes a layer of this pad material actually gets built up onto the rotor face. And what we're looking for is a nice, smooth finish across the face of the rotor. Now, the brakes become most responsive, or the brakes get happiest, so to say, once that you've got that good, smooth surface built up with some of that transfer layer so that you have pad to pad contact as opposed to pad to green iron contact on the rotor. That's when your pads really become ready to go. Now one thing you can do to take a look at on your rotor surfaces, if you go out and run a new set of pads in, and you come back and you look at the rotors, and it looks like if they have smearing on the rotor faces where you might see a splotch here, a splotch here. You probably didn't gouge the rotor faces, but probably what you have is you have some pad material that's bonded unevenly to the rotor face. A lot of times that means that you got the new parts too hot too fast. That can result in a, in a thumping feeling in the brake pedal when you go out to run them the next time around. So if you see that smearing on the surfaces of the rotors, probably what you're going to have to do is clean those rotor faces down uh, with some heavy sandpaper or even turn them in the worst case scenario so that you can get that smooth bonding surface between the pad and the rotor again. Okay. And Carl, what about fluids? Let's talk about fluids a little bit now. Well, fluids can vary uh, pretty drastically. Uh, we have two different types of fluid. We have our high temp 570 fluid. This is going to be the fluid that we use most often uh, in most of your dirt track applications. Uh, when we get to extreme braking dirt applications, dirt guys that might use the brake pedal a lot to manipulate the car in the corners, or for all your asphalt applications, this is our 600 plus. 
Once again, we keep talking about those effective temperature ranges in. You have to have a fluid that's capable of surviving the amount of heat that you're going to make during the course of the event. And of course, regular changes uh, are, are really important too. Yeah, part of your weekly maintenance should be bleeding your brake system and topping off your master cylinders. Uh, go around the car, start with the caliper furthest away from the car, bleed the outside bleeder, bleed the inside bleeder. Make sure that any discolored fluid is evacuated from the caliper and then go back and top off the system with clean, fresh fluid. Clean, fresh fluid in the master cylinders and the calipers is going to be your best insurance of making sure that you don't have a temperature related fluid problem during the course of the race because then you get to that eerie feeling of the pedal going soft and heading to the floor before the race is over. Yep. Never a good feeling. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. We've got to run out now. See you next week. <laughs>